Wow, it is really dirty. Okay, now it's getting a little scary. Now it's really dark. There's no lights. Fuck. It is exciting. Come in. Uh, uh. Driving to Tajikistan is really cool. Um, there's a lot of really big mountains, very steep valleys, and then in the valley itself, it's all nice and green and lush with really nice, picturesque uh, villages and the people are also really friendly so it was really cool to drive through I came in from Uzbekistan and then drove down to eventually drive the Pamir Highway and the Barteng Valley because that was the, the highlight of Tajikistan I was on my way to Seven Lakes to visit Seven Lakes of course but unfortunately I could only visit about five lakes because I got really sick and I just ended up being in bed for three days I've been sick for like three, four days. I think you now it's the fourth day. And um, it all started at uh, Seven Lakes here in Tajikistan. And I just had a little bit of a food poisoning. And then it became worse. And I just slept the whole day afterwards and going to the toilet way too many times. Uh, I could ju just couldn't, couldn't get up that day. And then the day after it was a little bit better. But still today I have so many cramps and uh, gas protection <laughs> and I really need to be careful what I'm eating. But now I'm driving towards Dushanbe and I'm going through the tunnel of death, the most dangerous tunnel in the world they say. But uh, we'll see. I'm almost at the Enzo Tunnel, or the Tunnel of Death. They say it's quite dangerous and there's no light inside and there's pit holes and there's water. And you need to be careful. But as I see it now, the road looks pretty good. And maybe they changed the road, I don't know. Hello, bicycles, hello. Okay, it looks a little damp and uh, dirty. Wow, it is really dirty. It looks like shit. Oh, but the road is really good. It's just very dark and shite. Yeah, it's fine. But it's for five kilometers, so it will take a while. Here we go. Well, for sure, it is a little scary and it's really dark. But there is lights, there's no pedals, it's very misty, smelly and smoggy, but it's not scary, like scared to death, so they should update the name anyway, it's a nice experience. Okay, now it's getting a little scary, now it's really dark, there's no lights, wow, <laughs> Okay, I can imagine if you're stuck here, it is scary. Wow. Then with the lights, terrifying. Look at that. Wow, now it's going downhill and it's even darker. I need to open the visor because otherwise I can't see, but the, all the dust is getting into my eyes, so fuck. It is exciting. I have my portion of light air pollution too. Ah, I see the light. The food poisoning is working. I really need to go to the toilet. Whew. Finally, made it. Ah, what a relief. 
Oh, some fresh air and a nice view. Oh, can't get any better. Whew. Well. Welcome to another episode of the story of me and today we are riding the Pamir Highways. The Pamir Highway is considered the second highest highway in the world. Although it is not the highway as the highway we know. There's only one kind of road and it's a gravel road. Sometimes with a little bit of a river crossing, deep pet holes. There's not a lot of asphalt and it is a little bit notorious so this is the Pamir Highway the Pamir Highway goes all the way up to 4650 meters altitude I think and as you can see it is not the most convenient highway sometimes there are some landslides and then they need to clean everything like here so it is a pretty interesting road and even though it is a quite hard road still at night there's trucks driving through and uh, cars so it's uh, pretty impressive to see this is pretty nice look at the river and then the mountains what a great valley really nice wow imagine climbing there impressive rocks and it's very clean, very solid rock. It looks absolutely fantastic to climb on there. Well, the road is a little bit gone. There was a very big mudslide, so to see. I even uh, don't know if there's still a bridge. Hmm. I should have a look let's try to get over it Almost. Oh, fuck. Ah, it's even a worse place now. Fuck. I needed to go back because I uh, couldn't go through. I dropped the bike three times. And that's enough. Normally there's a detour, so. Uh, Let's have a look. Ooh, heavy. About 20 years ago, there was um, um, a civil war in Afghanistan between the, um, the autonomous region and then some other local local um, groups. And now this area is full of mines and they're um, demining the whole region. Um, and I got a little bit of bullets also from the war. They had also very big mines and apparently there's sometimes from time to time even a casualty so it was quite interesting i talk i talked to the to the guy to like the chief and we had a very nice and interesting talk about the history and about the border between afghanistan and uh, tajikistan yeah very nice we're riding at the border between afghanistan and tajikistan Pretty crazy. I was planning to go through Tajikistan. Uh, I was planning to go through Afghanistan, but apparently it's way too dangerous and uh, too difficult. So uh, doing Tajikistan. So nice. What a cool road. Look at that. Just meandering through the valley. Steep rocks.